I never consider myself that even a good player. I think always myself is a very normal person, normal player. That's why I need to develop more, and I need to train more, I need to, you know, do more. So that's my philosophy. You know, for the first time, Japan played in the World Cup. So I think uh, even, even though it was in the France, I think uh, half of the stadium, or maybe more than, more than that, there are so many Japanese fans. So actually, it was not like an away game. It was like a home game. And uh, it gave us really good energy. Of course, lots of pressure. But at the same time, we didn't know what is a World Cup. So sometimes it's good not to have too much information to play better. Today, you can see so many Japanese players around the world. But my time, no one's there. So it was kind of a dream for us to play in Europe. Actually, I got an offer from uh, different clubs, like uh, from France, from England. I don't know why, but uh, for me, Serie A was the, like football. And actually, when I was a kid, the first uniform that I bought was AC Milan or Inter. <laughs> and um, so for me, it's like European football means Serie A. Of course. When I got an offer from Perugia, I said, yes. Then, after that, of course, I went to Rome. Then pressure began, began bigger. <laughs> of course, anything I say, it was like kind of news. Sometimes, you know, they don't write what I said. They change sentence, words. So, it's better not to talk. Much. That's why I try to keep myself inside and try not to show my emotion because then they can write anything. Because if I'm very you know, simple, boring person, what well, they can write about nothing. When you leave from the football, young, older, it doesn't matter. Always it hurts. It's a very difficult decision and they you don't know, never be easy. I don't think I can be a commentator. I'm very strict. <laughs> and uh, I don't think I would, I would be a coach. But maybe in the future, I would like to do something with the football as I got many things from football. I think it's fair to you know, do something. I traveled around like three years. So far uh, in my life, I traveled more than 100 countries. I've learned so many things. I met so many people. But one thing that I really realized that I don't know about Japan. So what I did is to travel all over Japan. I spent seven years to finish all 47 prefectures just to know about today's life. Now I, start, I started working with craftsmen, sake makers, farmers to promote their products, their culture, promote them outside Japan and also to uh, educate the people to give more choice and uh, to let them enjoy more. Japanese snack is, you know, uh, the best in the world. Something I cannot, I cannot live without. Of course, I'm not professional. I'm sure they know much, much, much better how to sell it. But I'm sure I'm one of the most critical customer. So just I tell them what I'm looking for. I think it's uh, one of the kind of communicate tool. Because uh, even I don't, I don't speak uh, Tagalog, you know, here in Philippine language, but still I can, I can talk with them playing the football. 
I'm not thinking to change something right now. But you know, what I can do in the future, I have to see the world. That's why I'm traveling. So I can do anything. I can be anything. <laughs>